Hello and welcome to the first video in a series look at data visualization using the new version of Tableau Public version 8. We'll have a look at some of the features of the new version and then concentrate on a sometimes neglected, neglected chart type, the histogram. This version of Tableau Public was released a few months ago. When it first came out it was on a two week trial. Um, so I held off doing any videos on this. It's now back as a fully free download. So big thanks to the generous folks at Tableau. This is a great tool, uh, one that gets better with every release, and it's free. So you can download it from this link, and have a look at the video on the new interface and features. Previous videos in my series on Tableau Public, and this video can be found at this YouTube playlist. New data types in version 8 include bubble charts, histograms, and tree maps. The first two are available in Excel, but have been quite hard to use. And of course, Excel lacks, ta lacks Tableau's ability to dynamically display data. I wasn't sold on tree maps until I had a look at using them in Tableau. One of our students did a summer project where she put uh, tree maps to some very good use. And I think there's definitely some potential here. There's also been some nice changes to the dashboard, especially in where you can place objects such as charts and controls. This is a big leap forward. In the past, dashboard design was a bit hard to control, often making for some clunky results. Some of these features will be covered in later videos. For now, we're going to have a look at the humble histogram. But before that, a reminder about a nice website on choosing chart types. You should always justify your choice of chart type. Different chart types present data in very different ways, and you need to think carefully, be carefully, I beg your pardon, about whether your choice is effective for presenting your data clearly. Uh, this well-known flowchart is a good tool to help you start thinking about chart choice and you should definitely download it. The Oxy DataViz website is a very good source of information on data visualization in general and on the many different chart types available. It hasn't been updated since 2009 and it's starting to look a bit dated in terms of the software tool suggested no mention of Tableau Public, for example, but it's still an excellent resource and definitely one you should have bookmarked. For completeness, I'm going to mention the data visualization website at gov.uk. Uh, this is in beta and may well improve with time. At the moment, it's probably okay as a site aimed at the general public, but it does rather lack academic depth. Okay, the humble histogram. The histogram is probably the first data visualization people are taught as part of our introduction to descriptive statistics. It is possible to do histograms in Excel, but it's a bit of a faff on. You need the data analysis toolkit installing, and then you need to set something called a bin table. It's quite hard to control what your results look like. Tableau Public does this in one step. Before we go into Tableau Public, a reminder of how the data needs to be organised. Data needs to be normalised. That is arranged in discrete columns like in this example. Tableau gets confused if you try more complicated ways of arranging the data. Um, this will be covered, uh, this is actually covered in a bit more detail in earlier videos in the series. So again, have a look at this web link. Okay, we'll now go into Tableau Public to see how to create a histogram. Okay, this is the Excel uh, spreadsheet we're going to use for data and information on uh, students in the first year at Food Science and Engineer at Wuhan Polytechnic University, who will join us in the second year. We'll notice that the data is normalised, that is, in columns which only contain one type of information. When you collect data, when you put it in Excel, you should always do this. Do it in any fancy arrangements, column headers, data of one type going down the column. Right, so we'll open up Tableau Public Guys. The interface opens up in the usual way. There's previous recent files I've been working on and there's actually a version of this which I had done earlier. But we're going to create a new one. So we'll pick up the Excel spreadsheet and just drop it in here. Right, as usual, it asks us which sheet we want. Now I know it's one level BMI China, but if you're not sure, if you click on there, It'll open up a view of the data, so we know that's the right one. Right, so we click on OK. Right, the data's been imported now. Uh, 
as in the previous version there's a couple of areas here one for dimensions and one for measures now measures are information such as numerical data so bmi height and mass as you'd expect also a number of records which we'll come back to in a bit up here descriptions of the data so in this case we have the data for both male and female students so that's not a numerical uh, piece of information that's a description of it right so what we're going to do is create a histogram of bmi so i'm just going to go down to measures and the bmi i'm just going to pick it up take it over to the uh, area over here and drop it there now it comes up with a number which is basically all the bmi summed together that's not what we want but it's dead easy to get histogram from here we just go to show me bring that down go down here and click on histogram and there we immediately have a histogram right it's quite a nice histogram so it's got a number of people with particular bmi up the y-axis and the actual bmi regions along the y along the x-axis now if we look here we'll go up 16 18 20 22 24 26 then a gap to 34. that's because it's automatically excluded bmi categories that don't have any people in them we can fix that if we right click on the axis we can click on show missing values so they're now reappeared even though they don't have anything in them right that's pretty good uh, probably the next thing we want to do is differentiate between males and females so if we go over to dimensions and there's gender we pick it up and take it over to the marks area and drop it on the shelf label color so it's now picked out the female students in blue and the male students in an orangey color which is quite good uh, over here the high bmi only one person a male as you'd expect uh, the percentage of male students a particular bmi tends to increase as you would expect um, we can add some numbers for how many if we want to know exactly how many are in right we can ho obviously hover over and we'll say there's eight female but what we can do is go to a number of records take it over here and drop it on label right so now it's it says it's eight but it says it's eight in the actual column as well it's a bit small and this is something i i often mention to the students they do good data visualizations but they need to make sure that all the information they want to portray is visible so we need to make the numbers and probably these things a bit bigger as well so what we're going to do is go to format this brings up the format dialog over towards the left and uh, we're going to change the font size to 12 shall we say okay that's pretty good uh, that's pretty visible now um, you may not always want to use this particular information um, if you have information about uh, for example each of these data points is labeled with a it wouldn't be the name of the person because we keep data anonymous of course but there might be an identifier you could also include that as well but this this isn't bad next thing we probably want to do is add some controls which is done in the same way as previously in tableau so we've got to analysis and we go to quick filters and we're going to have a filter for bmi bin the bin is just a basically saying it's been categorized in, into a histogram type format so we click on that and it brings up for all of them we can take them all off and we can have perhaps the only ones only the ones above 24. now uh, we can bring them back okay what else can we have quick filters probably gender is another good one uh, so again if we want to just look at female or just look at male we can do it that way right so we've created a a typical tableau chart there except this histogram which we've not been able to do before uh, so now we're going to have a first look at the new dashboard uh, this is a dashboard control when you click on this a dashboard area will appear it's got your sheet one in here which i didn't really name so we should probably do that so we're going to rename that and call that bmi okay so that's now renamed so when we go to the dashboard area it's now called bmi Right, if we take this over here and we can drop it in there and we get a single chart on the dashboard as usual down here we can make it wider we normally want to make it wider now in the past when you wanted to move these things around it was quite sort of clunky how you move them around you can see he's just trying to pick up a particular area here which is not which is, isn't particularly good for example in this case it would be nice if we had the color key actually on the chart so what we do is we select this now we go to this drop down menu and click on floating we can now pick it up and we can drop it anywhere we want when we let go it just appears to integrate directly into the 
in, into the uh, into the graphic into the chart. That's quite nice. And obviously, you can do this when you have several different types of information. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, yeah, that's all I really want to say now. So we'll go back to the main video. Okay, thanks for listening. Um, this series will continue later with other new features in Tableau Public. So bye for now.